Yo, welcome to another video. I am your Tactical Power Pro. If it's your first time checking my channel, welcome. I am an Air Force veteran, a former electrical power production technician, which is a fancy way of calling a general mechanic in the Air Force. So please go ahead and overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So let's waste no more time. Let's go straight to today's video. Today we'll be configuring a power command controller of a Cummins RSS100 automatic transfer switch. Before we start messing around with these functions, I want to be clear, I'll let you guys know that there are some functions that are set to factory and should not be adjusted. If some of these functions are modified, the transfer switch may not operate correctly. To start messing with this controller, you want to make sure that you have battery power and to set the controller in configuration mode. The configuration mode is selected by operation of a small slide switch located in the back of the control panel. So the switch is located near the bottom edge of the PCB. The switch is partially hidden to prevent accidental operation. On a side note, the configuration mode can be entered at any time, but once it is selected, all automatic operations of the transfer switch are suspended. Once you slide the selector switch to the configuration mode position, you will find the TDES, which is the time delay engine start, and it's always the first function shown. Press the test push button to scroll through the various control functions codes displayed with the first five LEDs. Now take a look at this table, which shows you the functions, function code, the value code, and the value for each code and function. The black filled circles indicate which LEDs are lit for the functions and value code listed. Once the desired function is selected, press the override push button to change the associated value code displayed with the last three LEDs. Now that we know how to navigate through the configuration mode, let's go through each function and talk a little bit more about each one of them. Starting with, like I mentioned before, the time delay engine start, which is the time it will take for the ATS to send a signal for the generator to start. It has a range from half a second to 10 seconds. Up next is the TDNE, which is the time delay normal to emergency. This time is once the generator starts and the generator voltage reaches the transfer switch, then the controller decides how long will it take for it to change from the utility voltage that it just lost to the new generator power that just arrived. You can adjust this time from 1 second to 5 minutes. Next is the TDEN, which is the time delay emergency to normal, and this one is the opposite. So this one is once utility power comes back, is how long will the controller take to disconnect from generator power and transfer back to utility power. This time delay can be set anywhere between 5 to 30 minutes. Next we got the TDEC, which is the time delay engine cooldown. This time delay starts once the transfer switch disconnects from generator. Now the controller decides how long will the generator run without a load for it to cool down and shut down. Now we have the TDPT, which is a time delay program transition. The RSS transfer switch does not use this function. So this is one of the functions, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that you should not adjust. Same with the TDEL, which is a time delay elevator signal. The RSS transfer switch does not use this function, so don't mess with it. This next function is the test with or without load. Here you select if you want your generator to carry some load or not when you press the test push button at the controller. The external exercise on off function is another one that you should not adjust. The RSS transfer switch includes an internal exerciser, so therefore the external exercise on off feature is set to off. The exercise with or without load function, yes, you can adjust this one. This one you select if you want your generator to exercise with or without load once you set up the exercise feature. 
The system nominal voltage table selection function is another function that you should mess with. This is just you select what voltage table will you use for the next function that we will see, which is the system nominal voltage table one or the system nominal voltage table two. Don't adjust those. The RSS transfer switch should come set already for the 240 volts it will need for your setup. Same with the system nominal frequency, 50 to 60 hertz. Do not touch that. The transfer switch is already set up for 60 hertz. Also, the single phase, three phase function as well. Don't touch that. This should be set up for a single phase setup. For the utility under voltage pickup function, you can select between 90% or 95%. For the utility under voltage dropout function, you can select between 90%, 85%, 80%, or 70%. For the phase check on off function, I recommend just leave it as factory, so just leave it in off. The return to program transition on off, this is another function that the RSS does not use, so do not mess with this. Same with the elevator post transfers delay on off. That's another function that the RSS transfer switch does not support, so do not mess with any of these. And finally, the last function will be the exercise repeat interval. Here you can select for how often would your generator exercise. You can select between 7 days, every 14 days, every 21 days, or every 28 days for the generator to start an exercise by itself. Once you're done making your changes to the controller, don't forget to return the selector switch back to the automatic mode position. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments what other type of videos can I make, what you're looking for. If you want me to go more in depth into automatic transfer switches, how do they work, the internal parts, or how the generator works how to troubleshoot, how to read one line schematics, blueprints, uh, you tell me. Let me know now in the comments. I appreciate it. That's it, yo. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. And always remember that knowledge is current times voltage.